What's up y'all, it's your girl, Dr. Nina, and many of you all have asked me to do an update on Hydrodonitis Superativa, or HS, Boil Care, and Scar Care. So today I'm gonna give you a few updates on some of the things I've been doing to keep my skin clear. It's a condition of the skin that causes small pimple-like bumps, deeper acne nodules, and even boils that can open up and look like craters when it's severe. It hurts like heck and shows up where the skin rubs together, under the armpits, the groin, under the breast, and other areas. It happens when hair follicles become blocked or inflamed. And scientists aren't sure completely, but they believe it comes from genetics or family history, some history of smoking perhaps, and other underlying conditions. Some even categorize it as an autoimmune disease. And it's not caused by infection or poor hygiene. It can be more severe for some and less severe for others. And while y'all have given me so many props on my skin over the years, I'm gonna have to tell you I've had to work really hard at it. I was diagnosed at the age of 20, helped to lead to my 100 pound weight loss and 15 year maintenance of that, help me to learn more about my nutrition, get a better relationship with my doctors, help me to really consider what I put on my skin as well as my clothing. Also, I started to make videos on the topic. And while I no longer have issues really at all anymore, thank God, I still will never forget that pain. And I well up with tears every time I think about it. Now with that, let's get something straight, shall we? I brought this to light over seven years ago when nobody on YouTube was really talking about it. And I was one of the first people in the Yahoo groups to discuss it when nobody really knew what it was. So before you judge me based only on what you see about me today, be easy, Lil Wody. I have no reason to willfully lie about something so painful as HS, especially when most people don't even know what it is. With all the pain and the shame of it that I dealt with in the past, I deserve these wins. And I also deserve to share what has worked for me and help you all get on your journey to healing as well. Now back to the business at hand. Let us know down below if you've had an experience with HS or this sounds like something that you've gone through. And if this relates to you, you are not dirty, you are worthy, and you are worth trying to figure out the very best plans for what works best for you. It's gonna take a while and that's okay, but your biggest point here is to make sure that you're avoiding these things to avoid some of the scarring and the pain. I've linked a lot of my older videos on HS down below for you. Make sure you reach out to your doctors so that you can be properly diagnosed and receive any treatment that's necessary. All items I mentioned today can be found down below in the description box as well as in my Amazon shop. Let's get into it. While you're here, y'all, go ahead and thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and also subscribe. This helps the community to grow and flourish and helps me to continue to bring you the content you love. And some of you all said you haven't received your notifications, so make sure that you're also clicking that bell and choosing all the notifications so you know when I upload on Thursdays and some Sundays. Yes, I am totally into body care and skin care, but I believe that the reason why my HS has subsided so much over the years is the way that I choose to treat it. I wash the way that I do in order to help reduce and prevent inflammation. Now, I usually only get none or maybe one a year. And that's usually underneath my arms and at the first side of that odd pain, I treat. I'm talking about the aches, the heat that comes from underneath the skin that lets you know something is forming. I've shown you all my use of wound wash in the past, but now I have discovered HybaCleanse, which is an antimicrobial. Not only does it kill germs on contact, but up to 99% of them are killed within the 24 hours of you using the soap. It has an ingredient, chlorhexidine, which helps to reduce inflammation. It also reduces the level of odor causing bacteria because HS can give off an odor, but lowers the risk of those developing skin infections, which happens when the skin is open or raw. Make sure you check with your doctor before using an antibacterial soap more regularly because you can build resistance. And I placed the link below for you guys that goes in depth about the ingredients of it. I've also been trying the Derma New Antifungal Bacterial Soap. It's great at eliminating fungus, bacteria, body odor, and even helps with that dry, itchy skin. With either, I just use it almost like a body wash. And what I've realized is that I rarely have a boil that doesn't calm down when I use these or rotate them. Now, I do find that it can be drying to the skin, so I moisturize right after usage. Now, I'm gonna return back to the body care and skin care, but one of the biggest things is that I'm really watching the amount of zinc that I get in my system. It could help to reduce inflammation and swelling in the body. Foods with zinc include lentils, 
tofu, chia seeds, quinoa, avocado, almonds, oyster, crab, lamb, chickpeas, black beans, Greek yogurt, cashews, and even cheddar. I also find that getting it through supplements makes it simpler if I'm lacking. I told you all earlier this year that I've really been integrating ritual vitamins into my routine and I'm happy to say that I'm partnering with them to bring you all today's video. Ritual helps women fill in the gaps in their diet. Two easy to take capsules help to provide nine nutrients and there's no fillers, colorants, or shady additives. So you know exactly what's going into your body. I've been taking their Essential for Women, which is a highly researched multivitamin and it reimagines health from the ground up for women. It has nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3. It's vegan friendly, non-GMO, sugar-free, gluten-free, and even allergen-free. They also offer women's 50 plus vitamins and prenatal vitamins. I also love that they have a delivered to your door subscription for about a dollar a day, no strings attached, and no extra charges. The capsules don't seem to irritate my stomach and they have a nice fresh minty scent, which is different for vitamins. The bottles are convenient and nice to look at, which makes it easy to build up habit stacking. So I keep them in areas that remind me of them, which makes it less likely for me to forget to take them. So if you're interested, fill in the gaps in your diet with Essential for Women to support a healthy foundation for your body. And right now, Ritual is offering 10% off your first three months. That's 10% off your first three months by going to ritual.com forward slash baby doll and entering my code baby doll at checkout. Beyond just supplements, I try to make sure that I watch everything I eat in order to reduce inflammation. Following an anti-inflammatory diet could reduce the flare ups with HS and could help symptoms that occur over and over to resolve themselves more quickly. Anti-inflammatory foods include salmon, mackerel, and tuna, walnuts and almonds, green tea, ginger, dark chocolate, tomatoes, green leafy vegetables, olive oil, strawberries, cherries, blueberries, and even oranges. I notice that if I go out of bounds, I pay the cost, so I'm extra careful. I even do detoxes with many of the needed ingredients. I've linked my latest video on that down below, as well as some of my older videos. And to further detox my body, I've gotten back into dry brushing. I have a video coming on this, but I just bought some brushes by Balula that came with a kit that seems to be really awesome, and I can't wait to share that with you all. So when it comes back to skincare, I also like to treat unopened boils and areas on my skin with great care. And I say unopened because as many of us know, these things can break through the skin. So what's new for me is in order to soothe and cool the area, I add just a little bit of Vicks Vapor Rub. I use a little on unopened flares only because too much can burn the skin. It has skin soothing camphor, menthol, and eucalyptus infused ointment, which can also help with odor. On inflamed areas, it seems to help with the pain a bit. And I only apply this to clean skin as well, or at least clean the area. So should the area start to break open even just slightly and start to drain, I've kept around the Burt's Bees Sensitive Skin Wipes. Ensuring that the area is totally clean and clear of any drainage can keep down odor and other issues. But these contain soothing aloe vera and cotton extract and no synthetic fragrances. And they have been so safe to use on my irritated skin and don't cause me further issues. Now, after losing so much weight, I work hard to maintain a healthy body weight. While I'm not saying that weight loss solves all the issues, science and research has proven that HS is significantly higher in those with obesity, but weight loss overall can reduce the symptoms. Even reducing just 10% of the overall body weight could help. Y'all, it's more about reducing the level of friction, the excess sweating, as well as the rubbing together of the overall body to reduce infection. And I placed the link to a study down below for you. So as a person that's been on both sides, I lost over 100 pounds, kept it off over 15 years. I have seen how when I was diagnosed, I was much heavier, but in maintenance of my weight loss, I have seen much less occurrences. No one is trying to hurt feelings. It's just the nature of the disorder and it's just something to consider. When I first started, minimal exercise, walking, stretching, things that weren't high impact were best. It reduced the amount of rubbing, those types of things. So you wanna start on a lower level so that your body gets used to it and as you're reducing weight, increase the amount of exercises and the types of exercises that you choose to do. 
And with dedication and time, this could help with some weight reduction. Now you all have also asked me when wounds do open, how do you cover them? I've mentioned this before, but unscented panty liners are a lifesaver. I literally stick them inside of the clothing to help cut down on friction and also to collect any drainage. And that's because they're highly absorbent and usually made for sensitive skin. For more open or severe areas, you definitely need to see a doctor, but the biggest thing is keeping the area dry, cool, and clean. And this definitely helps to cut down on drainage and smell. In the past, I would use gauze when needed and lightly bandage the area and change it out at least two times a day. And when scarring starts, I start to care for and treat the area early. My quick oil recipes have even helped me to smooth out old scars and help to present with a more even skin tone. I placed the link down below for you to see the old videos where I've made the oils, but I've also placed one of the recipes down below as well. I have a few quick tips before I go. I know it's hard, but don't pick. Picking increases the chance that you're going to have scarring. Also make sure that you continue to wear a sun protector daily, at least of an SPF 30 in order to cover and protect any scars that you have so that you don't increase darkening. I reduce or eliminate shaving, especially when one of these things are going on. And if you do shave, even when you're not having a flare, make sure that you watch the tools that you use and ensure that they are top notch clean. Also talk with your doctor about your options for hair removal. A lot of people enjoy more of the laser hair treatments, things of that sort, but try to figure out what works works best for you. Go back to my old videos because my old stuff can become your new tricks. Try using a hot compress. I use hot towels or even heating pads. Even just 10 minutes can help reduce pain and help to draw out pus from the boils. And if you're smoking, try stopping because it could help to reduce your symptoms. And one last thing, make sure that you're making every effort to keep yourself out of moistened clothes or areas that are moist and keep them dry because a lot of times those are going to make those flares come back. I work out a lot, so I have to come right into the house, put my clothes in the washer, make sure I'm taking care of those things and make sure that they're thoroughly dried as well. So I hope today's video has been beneficial for you all. And remember, there is nothing wrong with you. We are just trying to make sure that you take care of yourself, go to your doctor if you're questioning if HS is on the table for you, or if you're experiencing something that's similar, it makes you feel so much better when you know what's going on. Make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Check the links in the description for my free and new Dr. Nina's Mentorship Facebook group, which is a group of like-minded individuals looking to progress, grow, and support one another along the way. The Now That's Life podcast is about to go into season two, so I suggest you go ahead and subscribe to the podcast on all your major podcasting platforms. All descriptions and links for that and my free Supernatural video course are found below. Special thanks to Jason Bowie of Trinity Media Solutions for co-producing and filming today's video. His information can be found down below in the information section. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.